right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now, and this is a bonus feature I want to show you guys for people out there that's using a sniper rifle and an AR in multiplayer in all types of game modes, okay? Now, this is the build I'm using right now, which is the FJX sniper rifle and the Sunnova. This is basically, it came with the battle pass. It is the ISO, okay? I'll show you the build. I just want to show you something, and I want to put something out there that a lot of people are lying to you about, okay? So, I'm going to go to the firing range. Go inside here and use these two weapons. All right. Here's the sniper rifle. Now, a lot of people say that this is a one-shot gun. Okay. There's one reason why this would be a one-shot gun. Is if you hit the person in the face. On Warzone and on Plunder. Okay. On Multiplayer, it's a one-shot gun. Yes, it doesn't matter where you shoot. It's a one-shot weapon. Now, if you're playing Warzone or Resurgence and stuff like that, and people have armor plates on of three, you are not going to knock them with the first shot, unless you hit them dead in the face, like literally dead in the face. Then it's a one-shot gun. It becomes a one-shot sniper rifle, okay? Then I have the ISO over here. It is a very overpowered weapon, and I highly recommend that you use this fucking gun. You can use any gun. I know every single person out there has their own personal preference on weapons, but these two weapons right here, they absolutely fucking destroy in every single game mode. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so this is the attachments I have on the sniper rifle and I highly recommend that you go ahead and put these attachments on the sniper rifle. It becomes a one-shot gun if you hit someone in the face. Multiplayer, anywhere in the body, they are fucking dead. This is my ISO build over here. You can copy my settings as is. I have a 45 round mag inside here. Then this over here, I tuned. This over here is tuned. This over here is tuned. And this is my own personal optic that I put on here, which is the Cronin Mini Pro. The reason why I put this on here, I know a lot of people play with iron sights. I know that. The reason why I put this on here, it's very fucking accurate. I highly recommend you go ahead and just copy this if you want to. It's your own personal preference. All right, let's jump straight into this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we jump straight into the game settings and stuff like that, these are things that's very, very important for you to go ahead and do if you are an NVIDIA user or an AMD user. Number one, go ahead and download the latest driver, which is for NVIDIA users, 531.79. This is the latest version for your graphics card drivers. Please go ahead and download and install it. It's very, very important for you to go ahead and do this. Now, for NVIDIA users out there like me, I highly recommend you open up NVIDIA Control Panel and you go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview and you go to Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings and click on Take Me There. It's basically going to take you to 3D Settings, Manage 3D Settings like this, and then I highly recommend you just go ahead and copy all of my settings I have inside here. These settings are still holding up for Season 3 and till today, it's still holding up perfectly fine for other games as well. So I highly recommend you just pause my video and copy every single thing I have set over here. Now something I just do want to go over is this one over here, low latency mode. If you only have ultra, go ahead and select ultra. Do not put this off. I highly recommend that you go ahead and put it on ultra if you only have the ultra option. Now for me, I personally put this on on and it runs much better for me. Maybe it's because of my system. I'm not specifically sure. I have tried this on other machines, but for me personally on on it works perfectly fine. So if you do have the on option or ultra or you have both, go with on, try it out. It works really, really well. Okay, from here, I highly recommend that you go ahead and put the shader cache on 100 gigs. Prefer maximum performance, obviously your GPU, your dedicated graphics card, high performance over here as well and then go ahead and apply these settings at the bottom. Please go ahead and do this. From here, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings, and you're going to come inside here. Now, the overall brightness in my NVIDIA control panel, this is for all games and your screen itself. Mine is defaulted at 50, so I do my brightness inside my games that I play. All right, so 50% on the brightness. The contrast, I put at 65. You can copy my settings as is if you want to. And then you're going to go to image 3, and you're going to come over here where it says digital vibrance. If you pull it all the way down, it's going to go black and white. And then you're going to pull it all the way up and find your sweet spot. My sweet spot is 95. It's always been 95 for my specific screen. And then you're just going to apply this. It's going to do a flash a couple of times, and it's going to apply your settings. All right, let's jump straight into the game settings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to this little gear icon over here, go to graphics, and then go to the quality tab. Right now, I have my upscaling and sharpening on Intel's upscaling and sharpening. For some reason, this makes the game look really, really good if you have a good enough machine. All right, I have mine at ultra quality. I'm running a 9700K RTX 2060 OC, 
and 16 gigs of RAM. Now, I've overclocked every single component, so my RAM timings are shorter, my GPU's been overclocked, and my CPU's been overclocked, and lots of people are experiencing a lower FPS than me with better machines than mine. Okay, so if you have a machine like mine or higher end, I highly recommend you go ahead and use this one. It makes the game feel like a AAA title game and it also looks like a AAA title game and you'll still do really good FPS. Okay, now if you do have this over here selected like this, please go on 90% on the video memory scale. All right, you're going to go normal over here. You can go high if you want to, but you are here for an FPS boost guide, not here to downscale your FPS. So go with normal over here. High always, doesn't matter if you put your settings on low and stuff like that, like your different upscalings, always on high. These two, always on high. Your game's going to look like dog shit if you put this at low. Trust me, I've tested all of these things out. It took me some time to do this, so for the love of fuck, leave a like on my video, leave a comment if this actually worked. Please, it will actually mean a lot to me. It takes a lot of time and dedication finding out what settings is for the best for people out there, what game modes they are playing. All right, now, for people out there that don't use this or you don't want to use this or you can't use this and you're using the video deal ss let's just say you are using this upscaling i know a lot of people disagree on it because it gives you left and right hand side blur on the game then i highly recommend you go with quality over here and not balanced okay if you want to use nobody else dlss if you have this option and you are using it the sharpness is your own personal preference now for people out there that's not using the video dlss and you're not liking it or you don't have the option do not use nvidia dlaa i don't recommend it i would recommend nvidia image scaling it makes the game look really really good if you put this at native it will run the native resolution of your monitor so let's say 720p 1080p 1440p 2k 4k whatever the fuck you're playing your game's resolution at i would push it to that resolution keep this at 10 percent i tried this with 10 it makes the game look really really good but other people out there have their own personal preference on the sharpness of the game so play around with this setting over here now when you have this upscaling selected please have this over here fulmic smaa t2 times ultra quality and then your video memory scale at 90 percent as well okay normal high high and high now for the people out there that's struggling with fps i highly recommend you go with amd fsr you come over here and you're going to keep this at Formic SMAA T2 times if your machine can handle it. If it can't, go with SMAA T2 times, not Formic. And then you're going to go here where it says Ultra Quality. You're going to change this to High. Okay? You're going to come to your video memory scale and you're going to change this down from 90 to 60 and press Enter. Okay? You're just going to put it down to 60. You could try even 70 should be okay. So between 60, 65, 70 should be perfectly fine for you if you're using AMD FSR 1.0. Okay? Normal over here. Now, if you're really struggling with FPS, you can go with low. The game's not going to look like that. Don't worry. It will still look like this. There's no problem with having this at low. There's not much difference between low and normal, but there's a huge jump between low and high. I can play my game at high, but I wouldn't because I get less FPS while playing the game. And yeah, that's only if you are playing like the raids or you're playing the single player mode or you're playing co-op with your friends and stuff like that. Then I would go with high here. I would actually put everything on when I play raids and stuff but you are playing multiplayer and stuff like that go ahead and put this at either low if you're losing FPS like I said especially if you're on AMD FSR and then you're going to need to have this over here at least at ultra quality it will make the game look really good if a machine can't handle ultra quality just go with quality don't go with balance your game's going to look like dog water please don't do that either quality or ultra quality on this preset over here and you should be good to go all right low over here always high always high always high now for the people out there that doesn't use amd fsr i know a lot of people use fidelity fx cache if you're using fidelity fx cache i have mine at 60 percent it's always been my sweet spot for my monitor or my screen or my display now a lot of people out there is running gaming monitors or you're using laptop displays or just in general a monitor okay now your sharpness and your strength is your own personal preference i can't tell you what to put this on but you can try 60. fidelity fx cache this is how fidelity fx cache is going to work if you're using fidelity fx cache you're going to have this always at filmic sma t2 times so you don't have these little dots on your screen it will take it away and you're going to come to this and you're going to put this at ultra quality you're going to actually push this a little bit up so i highly recommend you maybe put this at 75 like this and press enter come down and then go over here where it says low Put it at normal now if you are using fidelity epics cache fidelity epics cache does intend to make the game much much sharper so you do want the game to look a little bit better so don't go with low rather go with normal over here and you should be good to go
All right, so the rest of the settings is just simple as is. It's going to be short on the clutter draw distance, particle quality low, particle quality level very low, bullet impacts and sprays and shit like that. You can turn it on. It has no impact on FPS or anything to do with your game, your GPU, CPU, RAM, nothing. Put it on and just leave it on. All right, damage layers is your own personal preference. You can put this on if you want to. It's your own personal preference. Shader quality, this is an FPS hogger and it doesn't do much in the game while playing. It's not noticeable. So going from low to high or medium is not noticeable. I leave mine at low and my game looks exactly the same. So leave it at low. It's just an FPS hogger. Tessellation, off, off, always off. Leave it the fuck off. You don't need to turn this on. All right. On-demand texture streaming, you do not need to know about this. You can go Google it. It's a whole entire fucking video on its own to show you this but i'm not going to do that all right so just leave it off i leave it off fucking leave it off cool all right streaming quality this plays a very big role in the game highly recommend put this at low volumetric quality low all right the physics quality off we do not need to see the physics in the fucking game while you are playing a multiplayer game water quality this is actually ridiculous i don't know why they put these settings in here it's fucking stupid all right so this water caustics water wetness water caustics and wave wetness my guy Whoever made these settings, like, what kind of drugs were they on when they added these fucking options in here? Water is already wet. Like, how, what's going on with the developers? Are, are they, like, smoking crack? Like, I don't get it. For fuck's sake, if yours is defaulted to something inside you, go to default, right? Leave it at default. You do not need to see how wet the water is in a multiplayer fucking game. Honestly, you don't. Okay, cool. A lot of people has asked me in my comments like, yo, dude, why are you so angry or upset or, you know, whatever the case might be. The developers are making me upset because they add stupid features like fucking this. I mean, my previous video, I said like they're adding fish to the game. Like it's retarded. They're adding the most ridiculous things to this fucking game. And it's stupid. Rather fix the unoptimized game, fix it for people right? The people that need it, 90% of the fucking community needs this game to be fixed, not adding fishes or features to the game that we don't fucking need and that destroys our machines, okay? We don't want that. I really hope that someday someone's gonna watch my video and be like, oh my fucking god, like, this guy's actually, like, talking the truth. We shouldn't add stupid things. Let's fix our fucking game. Unfortunately, they're not going to fucking listen. They just want your fucking money, and that's it. They don't care about the Call of Duty community. They just want your money. They want you to buy the Battle Pass. They want you to buy the game. They don't care about us. I care about you guys as much as I fucking can. I try my best to make these videos for you guys as best I can. So, for the love of fuck, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to the channel for your fucking new year. Please, it would mean a lot to me. Become a member on my channel if you would like to support it. I try my best to help the community as best I can. Shadow and Lighting plays a very big role inside this game on FPS, right? It's going to eat your FPS, okay? It's the biggest role that it plays inside this game. So, I highly recommend you go with very low on shadow map resolution, screen space shadows off, spot shadow quality low spot cache right now at this very moment it helps with stuttering you can either go with high i know for some reason the intel version if you're running a ryzen machine go with ultra if you're running an intel machine go with high but then for some reason i've seen a ryzen machine run on high the game perfectly fine as well so you're gonna have to play around with ultra or on high because what it's going to help is your stuttering in the game, all right? And it plays a very big role with the NVIDIA control panel settings that I just showed you, that 100 gigs. Please go ahead and apply those 100 gigs, then come and apply this high or ultra, okay? Over here, particle lighting, low. Ambient occlusion, always off, unless you're playing the single-player game, right? Unless you're playing the raids and stuff like that, then you can see how nice the game fucking looks. But if you're playing multiplayer only and stuff like that, turn this the fuck off, you don't fucking need it. Screen space reflections, off, you don't need that. Static reflection quality, low. Weather grid volumes, off. For the love of fuck, why would you want to see the weather inside this fucking game? Who comes into this game to see the scenery? Like, what the actual fuck? Why is this even an option in COD? Why? Yes, I would understand for single player, but for multiplayer, why the fuck is this here? Anyways, all right. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, on plus boost, always, it's always been a thing, leave it there. Depth of Field off, World Motion Blur off, Weapon Motion Blur off, all three of these off. This isn't a thing anymore, if you put this on, your game's not going to stutter less. Put this off, it doesn't do anything right now. With Season 3, it doesn't do anything. Film Grain, I can't tell you what to do, yeah. I put mine at 0.00, .00. I've actually seen 
high-end streamers play with this somewhere here. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of their screen. But I leave mine at 0 0.00. And I highly recommend you go ahead and do the exact same thing. All right. From here, you're going to go to view. I'm going to discard this because... Just in general, I'm not going to change my settings. I already have my settings for my specific machine. Right. This over here, this is your own personal preference. I can't tell you what to do inside here. Field of view is your own personal preference. It literally shows you. It spoon feeds you on what this does. 60 FOVs, that's how far you're going to see. 80, that's how far you're going to see. 100, that's how far you're going to see. And then 120, that's how far you're going to see. So if you have your FOV at 60, you're not going to see the guy that's standing there. So if you get fucked from the side... That's your problem because you have your FOV at 60. But yet again, it's own preference. Awesome. From here, you're going to apply these settings. And then from here, you're going to go to interface. And you're going to go to color customization. Come to filter 2. Both go to 100% on this. 100% on this. Scroll down. Go to your enemy. And select a personalized color for your enemy. I have mine over here like this. Apply custom color. Then my enemies are pink. Magenta pink. And I can actually see them much, much easier. These are my teammates. And then those are my enemies, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most important step that you're going to take after applying all of these settings, is this right here. You're going to go to display, and you're going to come down all the way to restart shader optimization. You're going to click on this, and you're going to click on restart. After you click on restart, restart your game, let it launch, then it's going to say here at the top left corner, optimization for your shaders, all right? So it's optimizing your shaders. Please leave it. Don't do anything. Don't touch your keyboard. Don't touch your mouse. Don't rush into anything. Let it finish. Once it's finished, then you can do what the hell you want to. Ladies and gentlemen, if this works for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your channel if you're new here. And as always, just here to help the Call of Duty community and peace out.